Hey, grade nine. So we had our first Google Meet and eight of you started and we finished with seven. Um, so that's actually uh, more than I thought would uh, log in. So thank you very much. Um, but when you log in, stay logged in because uh, we are going over uh, the reading of the chapters. And if, you're, if you are having technical, technical difficulties like mic issues, things like that, just check your, your settings for, I mean, you might have to do some trial runs um, when you log in and just check to see if you, if your mic is on for one thing. Uh, and keep in mind at the bottom of the screen, I believe for you would be, uh, there'll be a picture of a mic and you can click that to shut it off and then unclick it to speak. And the same for the video. Um, click it to shut it off and unclick it to uh, say hi. Okay, so uh, be sure that you have that. And um, I believe if you go into settings, which might be a wheel uh, for you, then um, click that and be sure that you are able to accept sharing um, from the host. Uh, I've, I've allowed sharing with you, so you should be able to uh, see everything that I am posting on the screen. Otherwise, uh, your backup plan would be uh, get what you can from the Google Meet and then, uh, then uh, watch the YouTube video uh, for more information. Okay. Uh, if you can't make it to get Google Meet, be sure that you do a check-in for sure. Okay. As I'm keeping track of who's coming in, who's not. And I think that's about it. We got chapter seven and eight done for the giver. So, uh, and a reminder, um, get working on your projects and preferably I would like to have them done, done by December 10th. Um, we should be done the novel by the end of the next week. Uh, but if we, if we do our, if we are able to get maybe three chapters done in a, a two hour period, then great, then that will be done sooner. Um, and don't forget those questions in your course outline booklet as well. All right. So uh, those who were there in the Google Meet are done. Um, so those of you that weren't able to get it uh, will have to get it from this presentation. So let's get to sharing. And I'm just going to go back to seven. Okay, there we go. So chapter seven, and you can press pause at any time. Uh, Jonas's group of 12 has organized themselves in order that they were born. Remember there's 50 uh, children per group and unless there was a release somewhere, um, but uh, there are 50 here and Jonas is number 19. So uh, he just has to wait till he's, uh, they, he, they say number 19 and he walks up and they'll, he'll find out what his assigned job will be. Um, each assignment is to honor each individual's experiences with a position that will best serve the needs of the community and draw from the skill sets of the individual. And this is the elders that have uh, decided this job um, or assignment uh, for this individual that will be theirs for the rest of their life. Um, so Jonas kind of tuned out during the uh, announcing. He was just waiting for his name to be called. And um, uh, then all of a sudden he analyzes it, uh, you know, the fact that they're naming off each person, they're getting their assignment and uh, it starts to overwhelm him. Um, and then he gets to uh, doubt himself, maybe he missed his name or his number, maybe they skipped him. And, and, he, and then he realizes, no, he was 19 out of 50. So then uh, others, uh, when, they, when they skip him, when their chief elder skips them, they go from 18 to 20. He's like, whoa, what did I do wrong? Okay, was there a mistake? Did I miss something? Did I tune out completely? Um, what's going on? And everyone's in the audience is like, whoa, what did he do wrong maybe? Or uh, that'd probably be the first thing that comes to your mind uh, when something like that happens. So uh, it's a very uncomfortable situation for Jonas. In chapter eight, um, 
he still had not been called because we're still going through the remaining uh, students or sorry, individuals, I guess we'll call it. And then after they reach 50, then uh, the chief elder uh, acknowledges that uh, she made a mistake uh, based on the reaction of the audience. And uh, so she apologizes to the community for causing anxiety and undue stress. And uh, so they do the standard, we accept your apology. And that's something you gotta ask yourself, like, do they re really mean we accept your apology? Or it's like, yeah, what's going on? Hey, what did you do that for? I didn't want to feel, you know, go through all that stress and things like that. You know, they're probably all thinking that, but they can't say it. Uh, so they conform. And we, we, we've talked about conformity. We didn't, I haven't used that word actually. But if you go back to uh, chapter five and six, we we're talking about that conformity from, you know, giving up your freedoms and in order to uh, uh, have this world the same as things like that. Um, so they give up to have something else so they conform. Uh, Jonas is uh, also given an apology. And so he says, I accept your apology, but it's like, you know what I'm feeling right now? Okay. Oh boy. What's what's up? So finally the chief says and Chief Elder explains, this is why I did it. Okay. He has not been assigned a job. He's been selected. And if you were in our Google Meet uh, meeting, we spent a little time discussing the difference between assigned and selected. So you may want to talk to uh your classmates on that one. He is selected as new receiver of memory, but they already have a receiver of memory. And he's this elderly looking uh, character on the stage that people rarely see. And all of a sudden he's there and says, Wait, they we already have a receiver of memory. I'm gonna be taking his spot. It, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to Jonas at this time. So uh, the current receiver memory will train the new receiver memory who will take over once training is done. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, but then she stresses that uh, this has to this has to be at work because they failed the last time in, in choosing a receiver memory. And so I'm gonna I put a foreshadowing there. Um, so we'll learn more about how they failed. Um, but the, the key part about this is Jonas is to be alone, apart as he prepares for his job. He can't be with his friends anymore, at least not in the way that he used to. And uh, that all, that creates even more uneasiness with them. He's already gone through not enough anxiety uh, waiting for his name to be called. And then when his name is finally called, it's like, well, I'm going to be alone and apart for the rest of my life. Like that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want this job, maybe I can appeal it. And uh, so, so then um, Jonas uh, is pretty much, it's like a, almost like a, we, we talked about a propaganda poster. And if you're thinking about doing this for your visual written project, uh, we have, uh, you know, if you had a picture of Jonas and you had intelligence, integrity, courage, and wisdom. And then at the bottom, you had Jonas, the capacity to see beyond, or something like that. Um, that'd be an interesting uh, project to do. Uh, so what does it mean to be meticulous? Well, we didn't cover that in our, our class, but meticulous is very specific, um, analytical. Uh, you, you are ensuring you've crossed every uh, check box off in, to ensure you get the right person for the job, okay? So very meticulous, cross your T's, dot your I's, and no mistakes are made, okay? So they were able to do this, and that, and so does he have intelligence? Yes. Does he have integrity? Yes. Does he have courage? Yes. Does he have wisdom? Yes. Ding, 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 okay? Capacity to see beyond. All right, we got our guy. So. Lots of feelings and uncertainties he's facing. And the, the big question is what will become of him? All right. So 
that's where we left off. And we're, we'll take up chapters 9, 10, maybe 11 uh, tomorrow at, at uh, 12 p.m. So click the link at the top. I guess, how am I going to do this? Uh, give my spatial. Okay. So at the top of the screen, when you're looking at it, there's a, you have the ELA B9 class this way. And then you have meet link. There should be a link right there at the top. That's what you click to join. And when the, when the little eyeball is um, goes away, like right now there's an eyeball with a line through it. Uh, when you see the video camera symbol, then you know it's open. So that's when you click on it and join the Google Meet. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Um, and again, if you can't make it, then be sure you check in by clicking on the post of that day. So tomorrow will be December 4th. So uh, uh, say checking in at the bottom there. But uh, I really recommend that you be a part of the Google Meets as we uh, conclude this novel. If you're not gonna be a part of it, then you're doing it on your own and you're not having that instructional uh, uh, contact. Uh, and uh, and uh, that could hinder your chances of doing well with this novel study. So um, if you are working on your own, I hope you're getting help uh, to uh, stay on track and things like that. So. If you have any questions about it, uh, the project, something like that, email me and uh, be sure that you have uh, your other stuff to anything else hand in handles into Google Classroom. And uh, don't forget your TED Talks as well. Um, you can do those anytime. And if you have any questions about TED Talks, please let me know. Be sure it meets the, the curricular themes that are on the front of your course online booklet. All right. So until tomorrow, take care and be safe.